So I'm Beatrice, I'm from Portugal and I'm an exchange student in Korea. Hi, my name is Louis, I'm from Germany and I'm an exchange student too. Mm -hmm. And we are studying in Seoul for one semester. So we've been in Korea for like two months now. And now we decided to come here and visit Tokyo. So how many more months you will stay in Korea? Two more months. Two more, two more months. months. Yeah. So how many days did you stay in Tokyo this time? Four days. Yes. Four days. From, From yeah. first Thursday day to until today. Mm -hmm. yes. So we are going to leave this afternoon. Yeah. So only in Tokyo or are you going yeah, somewhere else? Oh, only in Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. Because since we are studying, we don't have much time yeah. to travel. At home, at our home university, we don't have participation and attendance. Oh yeah, but in Seoul, Seoul we have we have, attendance. we have to go to class. So we have to go to ah. class, yeah. so we can't skip. So how did you like it, like Tokyo? It's really interesting. Like mm -hmm. we've been living in Seoul, in yeah, Korea, yeah. and uh, Japan is kind of different from Korea. I was not expecting that. I was kind of expecting similarity between both countries, mm -hmm. but it's completely different. And Tokyo is completely different oh. also. But it's I, I feel we needed more days to, yeah. to know Four days are better. Yeah. To less for yes. such a big city. Yeah. We needed more time to visit more stuff. Yeah. I think it's kind of near from like Seoul yeah, and yeah. Tokyo. Yeah. So yes. whenever you feel like you want to come, yeah. then you can come back <laughs> <laughs> at any time. So what is the difference you feel like between Japan and Korea? Like you said, Seoul and Tokyo so is completely different, right? I uh -huh. knew that the city was really uh, big. big and mm -hmm with a lot of uh, technology and more evolved than Seoul maybe but I, I feel that the Japanese are different from Koreans like uh, they're more, they have their own style in Korea you can see that a lot of people are similar and have oh. the same style, individualistic kind of and there is a style. part which is traditional, there's yeah. a part which is more yeah. modern with, yeah. with this kind of anime manga style. Ah, yeah. And we don't find and, that in yeah. Korea. So the anime a game. A lot thing. of different yeah. culture. Like uh, we met in Asakusa yesterday, right? And Shinjuku yeah. is kind of totally different yeah. from Asakusa. Yeah, yeah. Asakusa is more like modern, yeah. part, yes. modern parts. Yes, it was more like traditional. Yes. And like we. You can also see it in the like Japanese kitchen, I think. Mm. It's also yeah, different. Different. Uh, you have yeah. a lot of different. Kind of food. Okay, uh, where we live, it's chicken and beer is everywhere. Here we can find more like, traditional type of food. Yeah, yeah. Let's so cheers. This is sake. This is sake. Yes, cheers. Yeah. Mm. It's more like sweet. You, you know, there are many kind of like sake based on like uh, the different rice, mm -hmm. and this one is pretty sweet one. Better than soju. <laughs> yeah, soju is more like a whiskey, but this oh, okay. one is more like a wine. Okay. So yeah, I also tried the rice wine in Korea. Like a makgeolli. Makgeolli, yeah. yeah. and it's also different. So which food did you order? Um, shabu shabu. Did you try shabu shabu? No. It's like uh, beef meat. Okay, there's like a hot pot in front of us okay. and like we have our vegetables and meats and crabs so we just dip in soup okay. and then wait for uh, like a four or five seconds and take it out from the hot pot and we have like a different sauce then and eat okay. yeah is it so spicy it's not spicy so we <laughs> why <laughs> I, don't so I don't really eat spicy oh. food you cannot I know, like, survive I know. in I'm korea i'm in korea and i yeah. try to avoid it but, yeah. <laughs> that's hard yeah, everything is associated with like, and we went spicy. to to eat sushi uh -huh. And the sushi piece had wasabi uh, between the fish and the rice, right. and it was too much for me. <laughs> in Portugal, we don't really use spices, right. it, so and I'm not really used to it. In Germany, we have a lot of Asian restaurants, so if I eat spicy food, mm -hmm. I eat Asian spicy food. That's why yeah. I used to it. Mm -hmm. used to this kind of spicy food. Yeah. I have to get used to it because <laughs> most of the Korean food yeah. is spicy. You don't have to, but, uh, but just you just have adapt. this choice. Yes. Which city in Germany are you from? I'm from the south, near Stuttgart. It's in the south, near Munich. And a lot of famous German car brands are from Stuttgart, like Porsche or ah, Mercedes-Benz. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How about you? Uh, I'm from a small town near Lisbon. Uh, Portugal is a small country. But I've been to actually Portugal. Really? Lisbon. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. I went to uh, the city and also it's like a coast. The coast? Yeah, yeah. I live near the coast. I love the weather. Yeah, the weather. <laughs> the food. Yeah, the food. Yeah. 
it's not similar, but uh, you also have like uh, some fish, cod fish. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. cod fish is cod really fish. popular. Why yeah. not? But we don't really eat much Asian food. Mm -hmm. I think we eat a lot of traditional Portuguese food. In the, even the flavors are different. Yeah, yeah. The fish. Is it fish? Yeah, mackerel. It's like a smoked mackerel. That's what he said. Good, yes. Can I taste like sardines? Mm. It goes well with sake. Oh, okay. You don't drink like any alcohol no. at all. No. Oh. Yeah. But Munich is very famous for beer. Yeah, Oktoberfest started from like a Munich, right? Yeah, but it's, yeah. I think it's already <laughs> over. We also have a kind of traditional festival in near or in Sudga too. It's mm -hmm. like Oktoberfest, but not as big as Oktoberfest, but it's the same. Like a local beer yeah, event. Yes, yeah, like yeah, with the same music, the same big tents, mm. the same beer culture. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, we have uh, Oktoberfests in some cities in Japan as well. Yeah, in Seoul too. In Seoul too, right? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> But sardines are also um, like traditional fish in Portugal. Mm. We have this um, traditional festival in summer mm -hmm. where people eat um, sardines in between two slices of bread oh, with really? all the spines and everything, okay. with the head and everything. I order like a different course for you guys, so maybe you can share one, one for each. Mm -hmm. I really like this one. This is bonito. Bonito? Bonito. Do you know? No. Cream color. Yes. This is sauce. Yes. This is sauce. This is sauce. This is sauce. This No wasabi. No wasabi. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> yes. But is the fish tuna or not? Bonito. Bonito, yeah. okay, I have to check that. Yeah. I don't know, I never heard about it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's really good, really yeah, tender. Ginger fits very well. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, struggling with these jobs. <laughs> yes. What's that? It's a cream croquet. Nice. Crabs mm -hmm. as well yeah. inside, then deep fried. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. It's good with the <laughs> sweet sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Salad tastes like at home. Mm. Does it have corn flakes? No. In Korea, they have they put corn flakes in the dressing. In Korea, they put corn flakes in the dressing in the salad dressing. Yeah. It is weird because I mean. So weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's very sweet. And <laughs> for, uh, I think the salad for me should be salty, and not sweet. Uh, yeah, like sweet salty. But it happens with all the snacks and chips and um, popcorn, meat flavored popcorn. Or for us Western people, it's, it's kind of strange the snacks, the taste of the snacks, the flavors at home are not that crazy. <laughs> yeah. This is the first good salad since <laughs> almost three months. Maybe. Usually I ask foreigners on the streets mm -hmm. and without any reservation of the restaurant. This time I have a time to oh, check to and reserve. Yeah, but I think so. like small restaurants is also fun. Mm. Like the place we went yesterday for ramen was really small. Yeah. Like really local. Oh yeah. Was it... Uh, <laughs> Akihabara? Akihabara? Maybe, yeah. yeah. It's uh, like the a the anime, anime, anime yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the restaurant was really local and really small, but it was also good, the, the ramen there. Sushi is really popular in, in Europe, mm. I feel like. Yeah, there was, popular. maybe four years ago, mm -hmm. it started opening a lot of places in Portugal, at least, with sushi. Mm -hmm. And sushi became this trendy thing, mm -hmm. where everyone was obsessed about kind of an addiction because when you start eating you kind of feel like you want to eat more yeah yeah um this hot pot is also a very traditional mm -hmm. style of japanese foods. next time when you have a chance to come to japan 
maybe better go to the other areas. Yeah, yeah, like, to, a, uh, to other cities. Tokyo, Osaka, yeah. Hiroshima. But I feel like I know a lot of people that would like to visit Tokyo mm. if it was not that far from Europe to see how it is in real life. The whole like cities and advertisements on the buildings and the uh, anime is something that we are not really used to mm -hmm. at all. The Mar Mario Kart ah, real life. <laughs> Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, we are Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah. で、クレイジー。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい
foreign restaurants mm -hmm. from all, all, all over the world. For example, Italian restaurants, a lot of Chinese, yeah, yeah. Thai restaurants, uh -huh. Vietnamese, Japanese. At least. And also kebab. Yeah, for again, Turkish. <laughs> Yeah, Turkish kebab so, yeah. is pretty big, yeah, right? Turkish fast food, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's very famous, so, very popular. Yeah. Is there any like typical, like a local foods from Stuttgart yeah. or Munich? So we have, for example, uh, popular noodles. Mm -hmm. They are, I think, they are made with egg, so they are thicker. Yeah, can and you? They are called spätzle. You can eat also eat it with cheese, for example. Also Schnitzel right. is also very popular. Yeah. We also have. Uh, something like dumplings or uh, in Italy it's called ravioli, in Germany it's Maultaschen. It's the type of pasta that has meat or vegetables inside. Maultasch. Maultasch, yeah. Mm. You eat all? <laughs> you can eat it at once, maybe mm -hmm. bite a half of it. Okay. <laughs> 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 it was um, difficult to choose. Mm. <laughs> Which one? Oh, yeah. You like sesame sauce? <laughs> If I go to uh, Portugal, which area do you recommend me for a sightseeing? I feel like that um, Lisbon is really touristic now. So if people want a more uh, traditional local experience, they should either go to the north of Portugal, because mm -hmm. the cities there are still very traditional. Mm -hmm. Even Porto, that like is the Porto? second uh, biggest Porto, right? uh, city, yeah. can be more traditional than Lisbon still. But the whole coast from, for example, to, from Lisbon to Algarve, that is the south of Portugal, yeah. is really beautiful. Oh. You have really beautiful landscapes there. Um, you, have, you can find these local villages uh, through the way there oh. to the, more, the south. So I would recommend that part. Renting a car? Yes, yes, from, from like Lisbon, uh, Lisbon to, to, to the, south, the yes. south. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I think would be that's the best place to go during summer at least. Is there any like a castles or yes? Like we have castles in, in Lisbon and you also have in the north of Portugal. You have um, a really famous castle where the first king lived in Guimarães. Kind of more like historical, wow. but the north of Portugal you can also eat a lot of different food. For example, different from Lisbon, we have traditional food only for the north. Like meat? Yes, like meat, most mostly meat. In Porto there is the, uh, this traditional dish called yeah. francesinha, and it's only you only should eat that dish there because it has a special sauce. That sauce is only good there. Um. Uh, the sauce is a red one, mm -hmm. orange one, and yeah. then you have cheese and egg. Okay. How about you? If I go to Germany, like your hometown, where do you take me for a sightseeing? Mm -hmm. I think you should go to the north to big cities like <laughs> no, no, but to my hometown, Hamburg, Cologne, or Berlin, yeah, or Munich in the south. I think Stuttgart is also beautiful, but uh, more like industrial. I don't yeah, know, like, the companies yeah. and some, yeah. uh, and you can business. visit the museums from the big car brands, for example. That's maybe something special in Stuttgart. Mm -hmm. uh, famous party city is. Berlin, I think it's very famous for their clubs. Oh, you do surfing? I, I try to <laughs> because I live in a surf town, surf reserve in Europe. Yeah, we also have like a, a lot of uh, beaches where we can surf. Really? In Japan. Oh, yes. Next year we have Olympic Games and also surfing is, surfing one of the is games. now one of the yeah. sports. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It was, everyone was really proud of it. Yeah, yeah. That now it's an Olympic. Um, <laughs> But Japanese sea doesn't have like a big waves. Big waves. So I think for uh, right now famous surfers mm -hmm. in America or in Brazil or Hawaii or whatever, I think if they come to Japan to try to surf, I think 
it's gonna be harder yeah. for them to ride on the good waves mm -hmm. and do some uh, skills. Yeah. But for Japanese people, I think yeah, we are used, used to yeah. like a, like small waves. Mm -hmm. Some people say Japan has still some yeah. chance to Maybe. win a medal. I <laughs> uh, also have um, big waves in some part of Portugal, mm -hmm. like the biggest waves in the whole world. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's in Nazaré in Portugal. Nazaré. Everyone was going there just to see the big waves and some of crazy surfers go there and <laughs> surf those waves. But those are really, really incredible big and really dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember yeah. what, uh, how, how tall it was. So yeah, Portugal is a small country but we have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Apparently see. more than Germany. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta say something yeah, back, no, to, you back to, to her. Defend yeah, you have to. You have to. <laughs> Maybe it's just me who uh, does know that much about <laughs> that thing in Germany. Maybe you know more about Asia than your own country. Yeah, maybe, yeah. That's <laughs> probably true. <laughs> German viewers. Yeah, German Maybe viewers will be you. Sorry. <laughs> it's my fault. Like <laughs> really good. Yeah. It was really good. The main dish was very good. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Were the, very the meat good. was amazing. The meat yeah. was really amazing. The, the starters are, were also really good. Yeah. The noodles too. The noodles yeah. were really good. Very good Japanese hot dog. Yeah, yeah. I think it was the best meal we had during our uh, stay here. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.